Hey, for those of you that are watching, good morning. It's Patrick Alban from StopDoingNothing.com. And I wanted to do this one for a while in the beginning of 2016. Uh, for those of you that may be watching from that are not exactly where I am, it's uh, 8.34 in the morning, Central Time in Oklahoma City. It is 31 degrees Fahrenheit outside, which means it's cold. And when I say cold, I mean it's, you know, it's not just a little chilly. It's my car, you can't see it up here, my car warns me about ice when it's this cold. And I am in the parking lot at the gym at the YMCA. If you are familiar with Oklahoma City, it's the YMCA behind, uh, by Northwest Expressway and um, and Rockwell, behind the, behind the big target there. And I am getting ready to head inside for probably a one to one and a half hour workout and they get cleaned up. But I've wanted to talk to, um, I wanted to talk to you for a while in 2016 about something. And that is, you know, the, I don't want to beat on you about the importance of health, but I do want to remind you it's kind of a one-time deal. It's a one-time thing. And and I would much rather be at home under the covers than, you know, than here in my in my 31 degree car, getting ready to head inside of a gym with a bunch of other people and sweat like crazy. But but I've come to realize that it's extremely important and I only have one shot at this health thing. And there's so many other things that we do in life, whether it be spending time on Facebook or spending time on social media or Twitter or making money or having a job. I mean, those things are, uh, you, you can always have more of those things. There's no limit to the amount of time uh, you can spend on social media or in front of a computer. But I've come to this conclusion that I'm afraid of dying in front of a computer. And I don't want that to happen. I don't want that to happen to me, uh, you know, dying, laying in bed or dying in front of a computer or dying in front of a TV. Uh, and so I'm just busting my butt over the past couple of years, really trying to stay active, really trying to stay healthy. So this is my personal invitation to you this Saturday morning. If you are, you know, if you are there stuck in front of your computer or you are there, you know, flipping uh, TV. Hey, Susan, Rodestiny. I love the Rodestinies. And I'm, I'm happy to hear that, that things are going well for you, Susan. Um, if you're that kind of person who's, that's your plan for this morning is just kind of lay around. This is my personal invitation to you to go find the closest gym and 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 join and this is not a do it tomorrow kind of thing or or do it monday kind of thing i want you to either shut down this video right now put on some tennis shoes and go do it or i want you to do it you know after we complete um the broadcast here i've got several people tuning in thank you very much um we belong we belonged as a member of this gym right here for for a while it used to be an aspen gym now it's a ymca and it's a huge gym i love it I love the regulars in there, and we're very happy to see each other. There's probably some aerobics classes going on there right now, and some spin classes, and and I've tried those. Uh, but my main thing is just getting on the treadmill, getting on the bike, getting on the stairmaster, and then going lifting some weights. But I do it consistently. I try to do it at least three to four days a week: Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evenings, and then Saturday mornings, like it is right now. And then again, for those of you who are just popping in, it's about 8:37 Central Time. It's 31 degrees outside here in Oklahoma City. But I got up this morning about uh, six o'clock, a little bit after six o'clock, uh, prepared some breakfast, some oatmeal and eggs, which is what I usually eat. It's pretty darn boring, but it's healthy. And sometimes healthy has to be boring because I'm not a good cook. Um, but I did that, uh, had my cup of coffee, had a four hour energy drink, um, played with my bracelet. I got a new little jawbone wrist tracker bracelet thing. I'm, I, I really want to enjoy it, but the thing's kind of giving me headaches. For example, it told me that I slept um, a hundred and some odd hours yesterday in a single day it told me that and so I'm fighting with the job on people but I'm gonna be very excited once I get this little wrist tracker thing working with my cell phone which you see right here just to try to track my activity um, but again I just want to encourage you to remember your health is a one-time option thing every single day you say it's gonna to be tomorrow or the next day or the next day you're, you're hurting yourself and I really don't like to see my friends hurt themselves so again, if you're that kind of person who's made that New Year's resolution that you're gonna get in shape, you're gonna get in shape, you're gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, and you say that year after year, stop saying that. Put down your phone, close your Facebook, um, you know, close your Facebook tab on your browser and put on some tennis shoes. Uh, you don't have to have the perfect clothes. I see people in here working out with jeans sometimes, which kind of freaks me out. Um, but but just remember your health is not really an option, and especially on days like today, Saturday mornings, if you're the kind of person who doesn't like crowds, there's hardly anybody in the gym on a Saturday morning. That's one of the reasons I go is because I kind of have my choice of machines on a Saturday morning. Because why? Because nobody wants to get up and go to the gym. It makes it easy for me because it's just a very rare thing. And I know everybody watching this won't do that. But again, um, it's it's you know, just take care of yourself. This this body we have uh, is, is is temporary. 
uh, you know, our spirit lives on forever, but this body is temporary. We only have it for a short period of time. And every single day, I'm sure you wake up uh, as you get a little bit older, you know, something more is creaking a little bit, maybe a little, a, a new gray hair is coming in. Um, you know, you're just not, when you first wake up in the morning, you just don't have the energy to do a lot of things. And going to the gym and doing anything helps. And especially at a YMCA, they provide you so many activities, whether you want to do some swimming, which is low impact, or basketball, or lift weights, or walk. And again, I just see people here that are, they look like they're, they're twice my age in here doing something. They're, they're getting on the treadmill and they're walking really slow for 15 minutes, which is so much greater than sitting in front of Facebook for 15 minutes. So again, this is my personal, if you're in Oklahoma City, by the way, in the northwest part of Oklahoma City, I will invite you to my gym. And if you ever come to my gym and you want some advice on what you should do, um, I'm not a personal trainer. I would never claim to be a personal trainer, but I know the basics. I've been exercising since I was like 18 or 19. I can give you the basics of what it takes to stay mobile, um, you know, do a little bit of weight training, the right machines, depending on your goals. I will give you some free advice, no problem, or you can look it up on the internet. But if you are in Northwest Oklahoma City and this is something you're kind of on the edge on, uh, come to my gym. Again, it's the um, uh, YMCA at, uh, it's on the southwest corner of Northwest Expressway in Rockwell behind the Super Target. I will gladly, you know, invite you there. Hey, Terry Siegel and the Siegel clan. Very cool to see you guys. Um, we need to have another birthday party for Leanne, by the way. That thing was rocking. Um, um, but if you're not in Oklahoma City, uh, you know, no matter what city that you're in, there is a gym nearby, especially a YMCA. They are prevalent all over the place. YMCA, um, be careful about going to Gold's Gym because they'll just try to dazzle you. Uh, even if you're near a Planet Fitness, which is, the Planet Fitness is a gym, and I, 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 I say gym with quotes around it because they set up some things there to sabotage you. Um, I think they have like a, a bagel day at uh, Planet Fitness and they have Tootsie Rolls. If you're a Tootsie Roll fan, they have those and they have a pizza day at Planet Fitness. So just be careful about joining Planet Fitness. If you're the hold on for a second, I'm going to turn on the heater because it's cold outside. Uh, be careful about joining Planet Fitness because if you're the kind of person who, you know, loves your carbs, Planet Fitness, even at the inexpensive price of $10 a month, which is a good deal, if um, uh, they're... Um, you know, there, there are some things up there to sabotage you, so just be careful about joining them. Other than that, find a YMCA. They're relatively inexpensive, and they always have deals. Find a, another local gym, a gold gym, something like that. But, you know, stay mobile. And especially, like I said, on Saturday mornings when there's nobody at the gym, this is the best, one of the best times to go. So I'm going to head on inside. Uh, do me a favor. Drop some likes and some comments below. Let me know what you thought. Um, if you're having your first cup of coffee, uh, I raised my virtual cup of coffee to you. I had mine. Like I said, about two or three hours ago, and I'm probably even going to go to the, the the Starbucks place, which I know a lot of you, a lot of my coffee friends aren't big fans of, but hey, it's coffee, and I'm not a hater on anybody's coffee. Um, but um, yeah, it's it's early in the morning. Oh, it's 30 degrees, so the temperature's dropping here in Oklahoma City. So while I've been sitting here, it's dropped at least one degree, and I hear there are snow flurries in South Oklahoma City, so they can stay away. I'm a Southern California boy. I'm, I'm not... Uh, big on the snow clans, but um, I see the people that join at the bottom the Susan Rodestiny and Terry Siegel and some other people here and there popping in and out the viewer fluctuation has changed over time, but I've done my uh, Eight and a half minutes. I was shooting for ten minutes and uh, come on by today I'll be here for at least an hour and a half if you want to stop by my gym uh, And like I said, I'm here every Monday Wednesday and Friday evening and then Saturday mornings but good God get to a gym take care of yourself in 2016 because uh, your butt's not going to shrink itself and your joints aren't going to be any better clicking likes and poking around Facebook you guys have a great day um, I love all of you and I will going to go inside and sweat like a pig and then get cleaned up and I will see you online take care